John 4, 24 says, God is spirit and those who worship him must worship in spirit and in truth. To worship in spirit is to worship authentically from our core, from our soul. But what does it mean to worship God in truth? Worshiping in truth means worshiping accurately. Many of us, whether we realize it or not, are not accurately worshiping God. We're worshiping a version of God that we're more comfortable with. We pick and choose the attributes of God that we like, and the ones we don't, we either ignore or we rationalize to mean something we find more palatable. This is not God's desire. A relationship with Jesus should transform who we are. As we learn more about who Jesus is and what he desires, our opinions matter less and less. The deeper we fall in love with Jesus, and the more we see his proven faithfulness, the more we understand scriptures like Isaiah 55, which says his ways are higher than our ways, his thoughts are higher than our thoughts. Simply put, we begin to trust God. Most of us have no problem trusting the gracious God who loves us unconditionally, or the powerful God who protects his children. But what about the God that says, bless those who curse you and do not judge? The God that says to truly follow him is to abandon our personal safety and accept the call to care for the outcasts, the widows, the orphans, and the refugees. We'll tend to explain those words away. We'll say those were written a long time ago, but that's not who God is. That's not what he wants from me. When we try to make God in our image, we're missing out on what a real relationship with Jesus is about. Following Jesus is striving each day to be a little less like us and a little more like him. Romans 12 says that being a living sacrifice is our spiritual act of worship. That means that every day is an opportunity to learn more about who God is and what he desires. And as we lay aside our opinions and preferences, we allow the truth of God to transform us and those around us. And through this, God is glorified. We're fulfilling our purpose to worship God with everything that we are.